Hey vlog, I'm back. Today I wanted to go paint outside on my deck. I just figured it would be fun. It's a weird angle. I just figured it would be fun and like relaxing to just like not be at work, I guess. But I just went to Michael's craft supply store. Shout out Michael's. Yeah. And I got a bunch of stuff. Well, I got three things. But I wanted to go out on my deck and paint a picture that I took at work uh, the other day. Just because it was a nice sunset and it was like, the summer is sort of ending, but it's still really hot. But I figured, why not be a little bit Artistic, I guess. Is that right, Rudy? Rudy's over there. Which disgusting. <laughs> He's not a fan of the vlog. Okay, so I have my my reference. Okay, so for some reason my camera wouldn't let me flip the camera while I was recording, so I'm just gonna put the picture in now. I'm gonna go outside and paint on the deck because I figured why not go outside. Come on, Rudy. There he goes. Oh my god. So, in this part of the video, I found that there was a giant fucking spider who just made a web right in front of like where my face would go if I was walking out of the door. So, I decided to go the other way. Hopefully there won't be a giant spider just hanging. Okay, so everything's set up. You can see Rudy's butt right over there. Uh, he's a little camera shy. Um, so I took this picture at work the other day. I can just put up actual picture. Um, I just thought the sunset looked really nice. They usually, there's a pretty good golden hour as it's called. Uh, around the place that I work, so I just figured I haven't painted in a long time and I thought, why not? I was thinking about painting for a while and then my friend Chelsea, who also has a channel, which I'll link for you, um, she was suggesting that we paint something today and I guess the plans fell through because she has to go back to school, which is kind of irresponsible but I think I, I'll think about staying friends with her um, also there's a trillion cicadas around here so there's just gonna be a lot of this noise for the whole video so just get used to that or try to I'm just gonna get started because the Sun's going down and I only have until the sun goes down to finish it, I guess. That's like the timeline I've given myself. So we're gonna get going. So I started off by painting the sky and you weren't really missing out on much. But then like right about here, I realized that you can't see what I'm doing. So I like adjust myself, but it's still just me painting the sky and then you can't really see it. It's very washed out, but again, you're not missing much. All right, so I've finished the sky. I think it looks okay. I'm realizing now that this is not the best kind of, I guess, material for watercolors, but I feel like so far so okay, and we're just gonna keep going. So in this part I started to explain what I was gonna paint next. I was painting the buildings. Um, you'll see them in a little bit, I think. After a little while, I, yeah, there it is. I shift again, and then I really try to fix the camera because I'm realizing that it's not fun if you can't see what I'm painting. 
All right, I think that's better. It's just a weird angle for me if I'm going to talk. So then I'm kind of focusing on the weird radio tower thing and then the building underneath it. It's not exactly coming out very well. I think I was making the canvas a little too wet. Um, so like it couldn't absorb it all and it started like running down the page. Uh, but you'll see me struggling to fix it. So I'm gonna just let it dry for a second and listen to the chorus of cicadas. It's powerful stuff. The technique I was using, which is dunk it in water, do it the color, and then paint really quickly, wasn't working out so well for me. So eventually I got tired of waiting and I went to the bathroom and I used a hair dryer to dry up the water on my painting. Um, it kind of felt like the episode of Spongebob where they have to paint Mr. Krabs' house and they're worried they're going to get paint on his valuables. So I got right back to work painting them clouds. I got a little bit of the yellow of the kind of underside of the clouds. Um, it was a little drippy, but I guess that's how watercolors work. So it got too dark to be outside anymore, so I moved inside. Uh, I started doing the, like, oranges and reds on the clouds. And then, maybe about, like, midway through, I discovered a, a new technique where I just got a ton of water and kind of mixed all the colors together. I was trying to get like a purple, like dusk, night sky. Um, it didn't work out as you can see in the final product. Um, but I feel like it kind of works well on the clouds, at least in that moment. But you can see I was going a little crazy with the water. A little too much water, not enough color, I guess. Um, but in the moment, I thought it looked really cool, and I was like, when this dries, it'll look really cool. Kind of like tie-dye almost. At least that was the effect I was hoping for. Um, but as you'll see pretty soon, that isn't exactly how it turned out. So here is my reference, and here is my painting. I think it looks kind of weird, but I imagine when it dries, it might look maybe a little better. Okay, so it's now 2 a.m. and I finished my painting. So here's here's the original and here is what I painted. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. This is not at all how I wanted it to turn out. Um, like, this thing is the only thing where you're like, oh, it's one of those s cell phone towers. Uh, but everything else, you're like, what is that? So, like, I was doing the swirls up here because I wanted it to be, like, like the sky's darker here because the sun's setting over here. Um, and so, like, I did all that, and then it just went <laughs> down just onto the rest of the clouds. I don't know why, you know, it was laying flat the whole time it was drying. Uh, that's just what happened. And then, you know, the same thing happened over here where this was actually down here, but then it went <clears throat> into there and it was not supposed to. So just looking at the two of them, like this one, you're like, oh, it's a nice sunset. Uh, this, you're like, Chernobyl, maybe? I, I don't get it, you know? I really tried my best to like blend everything well, and then this is what I ended up with. So, what I've learned from this is that I need more practice. And also, I need to go to bed because it's 2.13 in the morning. So, 
See you guys next time. Love you. Bye.